Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my 1.20 Let's Play. We're here on 1.20. Yes, we have a few mods just so I can do replay and stuff like that. But if you don't know what that is, it's pretty. Why did they change this menu? Why would. <laughs> it was so funny for so long. Okay. We're just going to call it a world because I'm not going to promise anything. It's going to be a world. We're going to make it hard. We want it to be hard. Uh, I believe my sound is off. I, look, this is going to be a casual let's play. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. If you want to leave a like on the video, you can leave a like on the video. I'm not going to I'm not going to bother you guys. We're just going to call it a world. Make it hard. I don't really think Oh, they removed the custom. I guess they did that a while ago. Game rules. Ah, okay, so you can adjust those in there. Well, we're just going to leave it however the developers intended 1.20. Now, I haven't personally played 1.20 yet. I do have all the mods installed that we need, like, you know, being able to adjust certain game sounds, but nothing that affects the actual core gameplay. Um, everything I have is purely visual or audio. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since we've done a vanilla Let's Play. Well, 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 hello, Mr. Sheep. Why are you so loud? And, oh, I think I have my FPS locked to 10. Should I make my entire Let's Play like this? Is that what you, what you guys want to see? So like for example, I have something where I can I can set my FPS maximum. We're gonna do double our screen refresh rates at 240. I have noticed that 1.20 is a lot more optimized. Like we're getting well, we are recording in, in 2K resolution, but we're getting about 60 FPS, which is perfectly fine, seeing as how we're on a 32 chunk render distance, man. Um, which is pretty impressive. I guess there's baby animals off the bat. I'm not super happy with this spawn, but we're just going to go uh, wherever our heart takes us. I, I feel like for a long time, whenever I was going to record a Let's Play, I, I had this... Oh, I do have a Zoom mod because I, I don't have Optifine. I have a Sodium, I believe it's called. Never had Sodium. A jungle off in the distance. I'm not particularly happy with this world. I, I think it looks like garbage. Let's make another one. <laughs> I Honestly, dude, we're, we're just going to roll with it. I mean, that's the thing, right? No pressure, man. If, if I don't like a world, okay, then w w what if I like the world? And I, I won't make you watch the generation screen again. I will make you watch me type it, though. Uh, <laughs> well, this this seems like an interesting spawn off the bat. No, we're not in a field. No, we spawn in a hole with one tree. Oh, this is perfect. Well, if you guys want to follow along with me, I'll do slash seed. Um, and for those of you who are visually impaired, I will read it out. It is 33914034811550038103810. Now, maybe we just lost some viewers there. We, we lowered our average view duration. But, you know, there are people out there who are visually impaired and they may not be able to see that. So I feel like that's a nice little thing to, uh, to give to people. Now, do I have my particles turned off? Because... It's so, that's so unnerving to watch them break. Let me fix that for you guys. Hold on. You know, I'm talking about the particles when you break a block, because currently, yeah, that ain't right. Okay, there we go. Nice. Um, but yes, I I noticed a trend on YouTube. For, for You guys have to remember, I've been a Minecraft YouTuber for about, I want to say, I want to say about 10 years. Maybe we're at nine. Either way, it's it's been a long time. And Let's Plays used to be so nice and... Uh, Hello? <laughs> they used to be so nice and so casual. It, it, and Boys, we, we hit the point of continuum. Boys, girls, whoever else is watching. We hit the point of continuum. Um, I, I was watching and I and I just had seen a few things. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, we, we got to see if the pig needs some help. He, he might need some... What in the world? Well, we definitely got a good world this time. That's pretty cool. I like this seed. I mean, it's completely random, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you get something pretty cool. Yes, as uh, before I started rambling. We got a bee. Okay. I like it. Um, I saw someone say in their title, I created a galaxy. Or sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I created a planet in hardcore Minecraft. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, you, you you made a sphere and you put some stuff. Up. That That's cool. Does it have a purpose? No, but it looks really, really cool. And then, you know, a couple months go by and I see, you know, trending. I made the entire uh, solar system in hardcore Minecraft. And I'm like, you you made the whole solar system. You know what? That's impressive. That's really cool. And then I saw someone. I don't know if it was I made the entire universe or the entire galaxy. Either way, what, what, what are you? What? We're, 
we're one-upping each other, okay? Which is fine. I mean, like, I get it. You know, if, if, if you want to get all the massive views and stuff, you got to one-up one another. But you're going to get to a point where... What, what do you create after the galaxy or the universe? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, there's not anything else. So, oh, why am I mining with this? Get out of here, dude. And I, I don't know, man. I was just, I was just kind of, not in shock. I was just, I think it was more of a moment of I was sighing because I couldn't believe it. And maybe I've, you know, I'm only 24 years old. I, I've talked to people who think that I'm like really old. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not very old, okay? I've, I've been on YouTube since the days that Fred were, Fred was really popular. I don't know if anyone's, anyone's an OG YouTube viewer. I'm not trying to claim to be special. I'm just saying I don't know if anyone remembers that YouTuber. He was a man who made these just crazy videos. He used a pitch shift on his voice to make it super high pitch. It was just, it was, it was funny back in the day, you know, Harry Potter puppet pals, all, all that good stuff. And I feel like there became a point where every YouTuber, it seems like nowadays is like a professional editor. You're going to notice something if you start to watch me. I don't, I don't really edit. I, I will put clips together and that's about the end of my editing. I'm noticing a few FPS drops and I don't, I, I don't like it and I'm sure the viewers don't like it. So we'll, we'll put it on 24. And then we probably want the same. I don't know if it can render shadows past where the chunks are. Who knows? No, some people are going to watch this and they're going to get bored. That's fine. This probably isn't going to be. Oh, this is nice. I kind of like it. Ooh, okay. Oh, the new cave generation still gets me sometimes, man. It's It, it still gets me sometimes. But yeah, back to my point. It seems like everyone's a professional video editor now. I can't keep up. I can't do it, man. I made a hundred days video and uh, that was that. And, uh, and then I made a 200 days video and that was the end. I can't do them. I mean, I can technically, but if I want to keep doing YouTube, I can't do it. Though I do, I do like this cave, but you know, we're not in hardcore Minecraft. So if we die, we die, whatever. But I do want to get some more coal because that's something I never get enough of. I, I never get enough coal. But the roundabout point that I'm trying to come to is that I'm going to make a series kind of like I made that. I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to set expectations, okay? I'm not going to tell you it's going to be x number of episodes. I'm not going to make any promises cuz I don't want to I don't want to say anything I can't keep. Now, one thing that's very important to me, does sodium have dynamic lights? Really? Everyone was like, "You should get sodium. It's so much better than Optifine." It doesn't have connected textures. It also doesn't have dynamic lights. So, now I got to get a fabric mod for that. So, give me a second. Well, I tried a bunch of stuff. I can't really get it to work, so we're going to have to put torches down by hand. Is that a big deal? No, but minor inconvenience. I'm sure it'll get updated eventually. You know, I, to give you my thoughts on 1.20, when it came out, I was just kind of... Meh. I, I don't want to talk bad on the development team. I, I really don't want to. You know, I understand, you know, people are always like, well, Microsoft's the biggest technology company in the world. Yeah, but Mojang and uh, Mojang is a subsidiary of Microsoft now. So Microsoft owns Mojang, but they don't have total control of them. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess they have total control, but they let them operate almost as a separate entity. Of course, with the funding for Microsoft, could they hire more developers? Yes, but would they mesh well with the current team? I'm not sure. Um, so we need updates like this. Um, obviously, they worked on optimization a lot. I'm sure there's a lot of you know, under the hood optimizations being made. And I hear a spider. I don't know where Mr. Spider is, but I'm going to dig. And oh, hey, <laughs> uh, maybe it's some of that spider iron. Okay, where is the spider? Because I, I, I'm curious. Is this a dungeon? Because I do hear, it's probably not a dungeon. Nope, just looks like a bunch of baddies hanging out. Just hanging out in a cave, having a good time. Look at me, using an axe for so long there, man. I did not use axes, like I really didn't. Okay, okay, Ugh. yeah, not that, not that hard. And I told you guys, I needed a break from the Let's Plays. And I'm sorry there was only the, the, the content I have been making, the server stuff, but you know, honestly, it got to a point where I'd done so many Let's Plays, I felt all this pressure to one-up myself, and I needed time, I needed time to reset. And I, th I think we've, Another one. Okay. Okay. We don't need more coal right now. I think we, 37 coal off the bat. A little bit of wood. I think we'll be okay to go explore a little bit. I don't want to settle right near spawn. I want to actually find somewhere that I look at and I, I, you know, I walk out of the front door of my house and I'm like, wow, this looks incredible. 
So we're going to find that area. Over here looks cool. I just want to peek around at it, but I don't want to live there. I am, unfortunately... No, actually, you know what, sheep? You can live today because I'm smart and I'm going to make some shears. Yes, this is going to be this is going to be incredible. <laughs> Usually I always just have to I just have to kill a few sheep off the bat. I guess we have more coal than sense, so we'll just use some coal here. And while we're waiting, can we get a tree? Yeah, we go get a tree nearby. But yeah, I I, I want to find a cherry blossom forest, although I, my understanding is that, you know, there's, I don't know how many biomes in Minecraft. I don't think we're just going to find one off the bat, but we can look. And I'd love to live in one, you know, and experience the new wood type for myself. But I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where I would find one. I mean, obviously it would be somewhere in the world, but... And, and I'll travel as much as I can, you know, reasonably can in one episode. And we'll see. We will see. Okay, well, let me collect wood for a little bit. I, you'll learn that I cut stuff out. Like, I'm not going to make you watch me collect wood for however long I'm going to collect wood. I, I I will cut things out I know are inherently boring. Okay, well, that's enough wood. And I believe we have a few oak saplings. The only noise that I've turned down, I have this mod called uh, Extreme Sound Muffler. And uh, I have, like, the grass noises turned down. So I can actually talk to you guys without having to go into my video editor. And turn the noises down. If you guys want to know what all the mods I have are, you can uh, pause it here and uh, get anything you need. So again, they're all just like back-end mods that make the game a little bit faster, stuff like that. Okay, let's go grab these shears. It's about to be dark. I am not doing good on time here. <laughs> I, I might have been uh, I might have been talking a little bit too much, a little too much rambling. Which you'll learn is a problem. Um, I would say an axe and probably a pickaxe are gonna be my go-to's. I don't... A shovel? I'm not sure why I made a shovel. Maybe I was just rambling and made something when I didn't mean to, but that's okay. We will keep the shovel. Now, the most important part about this iron. Can we get three from one? No, we got one. That's not good. Where's the other white sheep? Come here, buddy. Um, and we can sleep through the first night. I don't, I don't mind. There we go. That's two. I made two crafting tables. That's okay. We'll we'll just we'll just roll with the punches here. You know we're we're not too too wealthy on wood yet. So that one it kind of hurt. It, it, it did kind of hurt. Day two in my world, and I've done nothing. I have slept. I've got a few base materials now. That is just weird. I'm not sure where in the terrain generator that lies, but I can definitely tell you that's not normal. So I have a I have a special feeling about the world. Do I know exactly what that feeling means? No, but there's something special. Something special about it. Now, every single Let's Play I've ever done, I always get dungeons near my house. I'll do the best to make that happen, but, you know, people will claim that I, you know, cheated or something and, and got the seed. I mean, I literally just chose a random seed. Um, I like dungeons. I think it's a great source of early game XP. Will it happen in this Let's Play? We'll have to find out. Is the pressure there? No. Um, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. The the one where I got three dungeons, which is like one of the rarest things. Ooh, a village. We'll go over there. Uh, the one where I got three dungeons was pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to be living anywhere around here, so I am going to have to uh, take a few sacrificial pigs to feed us. But the land gives back, and we give to the land. Kind of. I don't... <laughs> I guess we're running... Oh, you have a... You know what? We won't kill the, the pig. We won't kill that pig. I always feel a little bit bad. Um, when you have a giant pen of animals, I don't feel as bad, but I always feel bad actually about just killing the pigs because they're, they're not doing anything. They're just hanging out. Yes, they're just pixels, but my uh, my human ethics are, are showing. Okay, so that looks like a decent village. That, to me, is like the most boring terrain. We're not going to live there. Could we make a cool castle there? That's what I want to do. I want to build a big castle. I don't know why, but I, I have this uh, this feeling where I want to build a castle. And nothing super interesting, you know, that I can see around here. I mean, oak forest, mountains, plains is what it is. We'll keep traveling. Let me just wait on this. I almost said beef. I'm blanking. Pork chops. By the way, if you guys ever want some more explanation about where have my regular videos been and stuff like that, you can go on the community tab when you click or tap on my channel, and you can see a pretty long-winded explanation of, you know, where I've been, why have I not made regular Minecraft videos in so long. 
and just just stuff like that so if you're curious great thing to read i don't want to rehash it all but i encourage you to go read it if you're curious okay <laughs> so I wanna, don't want to step in that and don't want to make the creeper mad let's just run around we'll go over to the village uh, may steal some hay which i suppose we should probably make um i'll just make a stone hoe for now but we'll make a hoe to go and steal the hay and all shall be well in what is the is it whoville I don't remember. I'll meet you guys right there. Watch this. I'll meet you guys on that tree. There we go. Oh, oh that was a crazy teleport, man. I remember I did that in a previous Let's Play, and people were like, Neo, what teleport mod is that? I'm like, yeah, I did that transition pretty good. I don't know how smooth that one will be, but yes, we are here in the village. We're right where I said I'd be, and well, that's kind of cool over there. A little, uh, a little pass through. Interesting, interesting. Um, oh, 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 Minecraft. Oh, oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it because I would have probably walked until I had found one of those. But putting it right over yonder, I mean, man, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, maybe it'll make for a nice screenshot. I don't know. Will it? I, I'm not sure, but we, we'll just take the screenshot. And you want to know a cool thing I have. I have something called Screenshot Viewer, so I just have to press Escape. Look, we can, we can look at our screenshots right here, even the accidental ones, like logging into my server or, you know, this beautiful one. I'm, I'm not sure what this one is, but lots of cool screenshots. Very, very easy to see. So if we ever want to go through our, our memories, we can do it that way. So let's be kind and not take too, too much from the village. Uh, I'm definitely going to take every piece of hay that I see, but hey... They have farmers. They can just get more, right? I mean, what's the big deal? Okay. All right. I do like the new damage tilt direction. Basically, all what, what that means is that wherever you take damage, it's going to, like, kind of point your player in that way. So when you take fall damage, for instance, it kind of tilts the screen down. Like, watch. See how it tilts you down? Kind of a cool thing they added in 1.20. I don't know how, how useful it is, but... I guess for seeing what direction you're taking damage from, that's kind of cool. Okay, so nothing quite special in there. I, I don't think any of these things can really have, like, chests in them. So I don't really think there's a point to exploring them. So let's go up on top of the hill and uh, go look at the rest of the village. Because I believe it was up here. So I need cobblestone anyways. I might as well just tunnel my way up there. Okay, this should be the top. Yeah, here we go tunneled our way through did we get a lot of cobble no but more than we had can we take on the iron golem no we will not leave them defenseless two bells off the bat i feel like that's pretty rare i feel like most villages just have one bell i remember on bedrock for a while people could just dig straight down under the bells what do you have for trades so you want 20 wheat for an emerald i'm not going to say that that's bad and uh you know mojang's planning on nerfing villagers in the next update which, they may, they may revoke that change. I'm not really sure what they're going for. I do agree that some of them are a little weird. Um, you know, like trading sticks for emeralds is a little bit much. But that was a good source of emeralds, okay? Without that, you gotta trade 20 wheat for one emerald. But, you know, maybe that would make the game a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Okay, we'll, we'll take some of this. I don't recall ever seeing little farms around, uh, around houses, but hey... I'll take it. Anything? No. no I'm only going to look in one more house. Okay. To the cherry blossom. That's what oh, That's what I'm very excited about. Because I personally have never seen one. Um, You know, I've seen them on a few screenshots. I haven't really kept up. Oh, that's not a good jump. Oh, my God. What am I doing? What kind of, what kind of jump was that? <laughs> uh, not a good one. Not a good one. All right, well, ooh, that looks kind of cool. Nice little mountain range. Now, I'm hoping that this cherry blossom, I, I wonder how the terrain is. Is it taken from the plains, or is it kind of just plopped onto whatever biome it's nearest to? I'm really not sure. If someone knows, enlighten me in the comments. I guess we'll find out here in a second, but maybe you can type your comment before I get over there. A little bit of a challenge. Okay, we're here, so... <laughs> Oh, we can pick those up off the ground. Ooh, okay, you can pick them up. Now, I broke one, and I got four. Ah, I see. So, they're a stackable entity. Okay, I like that, actually, a lot. 
I'm going to I'm going to take a few from the edge of the forest here just because I'm probably going to use quite a bit near the house. Oh, I bet that I bet that lags all the bedrock folks out there, all those particles. I know that the uh whatever that pink flower is that spawns in the lush caves seems to lag people out quite a bit. This is beautiful and the sun is setting. There's a beehive. Oh. Oh, it looks nice. Another beehive. Wow, two right next to each other. So one thing I never really was good about was farming bees. I don't know why. Another beehive? Another beehive? That's four beehives, like, just right here? Five? So is that the special part about Jerry Blossom Forests is all the beehives? Oh, 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 oh. I like this ravine. We've got to sleep. Oh, you want my pink petals. I'm sorry. They're not for sale, but... The bed is too far away. What if I yeet over this 360 into the bed? I hit the edge of my mouse pad. 360 into my bed. Please let me just do it. Think of the clout. No. Oh, <laughs> almost, almost killed myself with that fall. Okay. No more 360, no scope, ladder stalls, B, X, Y, tap. I'm just going to, I'm just going to jump. There we go. That worked. No, wait, wait, wait. Where am I going to spawn when I get out of the bed? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was going to put me right there and I would fall to my death. Okay, we got to be a little more cautious here. We're, we're in our dream biome. Now, I do like how this is kind of in a little ravine here, but it's not speaking to me. It's not speaking to me. Let's, let's go a little further. Yeah, it must be that beehives spawn here like a lot. Because there is an absolute wild number. Our first hostile mob. Let's see if we can't get hit one time. I played Remnant 2 recently, which is a pretty hard game. So I have I have the utmost confidence in my ability to kill a mine. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say I have I have very high confidence in my um, PVE abilities at the moment. Player versus enemy. If you don't know what that means. Okay, that's just a strange, sheer-looking cliff. We're not gonna live there. We will use this cherry blossom tree. They do look really nice. Really. They do look really nice. And, I, you know, I don't have anything against it. I just don't see... Like, let's say you're a prospective potential uh, comeback to Minecraft player. Let's say you used to play quite a lot. Nice little uh, pillager outpost. Another village. Interesting. Um, but let's say you hadn't played in a few years. And you were going to potentially come back. Would this draw you back to the game? <clears throat> And now not every update can be like that, but for me, it wasn't so much of I needed to be drawn back. It was that I needed less pressure because I was doing, well, I was doing let's play after let's play after let's play. And in my head, each one needed to be better than the last one. And so I would, you know, one up myself on the titling scheme or the thumbnails or whatever it was. And so for this one, as you can tell the the titles, pretty simple. Um, the thumbnail is pretty simple. Everything's simple, and that's what makes it nice. You're just watching a friend play Minecraft. Are we friends? Well, if you're watching this, I will consider you a friend. So now you can tell your parents you have friends. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, okay? I'll, I'll toy around with it. I'll toy around with it, but I'm not going to be mean. <sighs> there was a point I, sometime in high school where I felt like I didn't have any friends. And it was tricky because, you know, I had grown up with all these people, you know, we'd all gone to the same schools, but I felt like I didn't mesh well with anyone anymore. And I don't know at what point it was, but it was a friend I had had since elementary school. I had just gone through my first real big breakup, you know, oh, it was so big. At the time, it felt like it. Um, and we were, we were eating lunch, you know, in the cafeteria. I was technically outside the cafeteria in this little outdoor eating area. And, you know, I was close to tears, and my friend saw me, you know, who I thought maybe wasn't, you know, my closest friend at the time or anything, and he gave me a big hug. And I remember that, I'll always remember that moment, because it, it made me feel so good that someone cared enough about me to take time out of their day to make sure I'm doing okay, give me a hug to make me feel better, and yeah. So, I think the roundabout point I'm trying to make, and that's the second time I used the phrase roundabout in this, so... Round of applause, Neil, for using the big English. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the point is, but it, it, it was a happy story. I'm going to wait for these leaves to decay. Where did that come from? Like, 
Is it because I made a joke about you having no friends as the viewer? Something like that. I guess life has unexpected things that happen that will change your mind about things. I'll leave it at that because I'm not sure if that's really a point to make or not, but let me cook. Okay, let me cook. I'm going to throw this stuff out. I don't know why I picked up flowers. Maybe it was in my, in my rambling phase. We have a good amount of cherry logs. I don't necessarily think I want to live here. I will take as many of these saplings as I possibly can. Um, oh, that's why. Um, so I'm going to wait for these trees to decay some more. Uh, to be fair, we already have 32, 34 saplings. I want a whole stack. Ah, another point I was going to make. Every Let's Play now, it's like, okay, and in today's episode, we're going to do X, X, and X. And it's not that I have a problem with people having a plan, but the Let's Play template got really rigid. And I don't, I don't want this to be rigid. I want it to be free flowing. I want it to be, you know, story time with Neo sometimes. Um, you know, sometimes watching Neo's greatest fails because sometimes I'm really not too good at the game. I never claim to be. I guess when you're a, a YouTuber who focuses on one game primarily, people just expect you to be good at it. And I'm not saying that's absurd, but I'm just going to tell you off the bat. Wow, that's loud. If you're expecting someone who's good at the game, go please go watch somebody else. Uh, I'm going to try to do some redstone. I know that. I'm going to push myself to do... Ooh. 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 Do we want to go into the deep dark right off the bat? It's tempting me with its openness to the sky. The water is a nice touch, I will admit. Um, am I prepared? No. <laughs> not, not even in the absolute slightest. I have three iron, so I can't do armor, but I will get a bucket. I feel like that's helpful. I at least want to see what we have here. What is the world going to offer me? If I were to dip my toes down here. Anything cool? Oh, mine shaft is pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Um. All the way to deep slate. Okay, I gotta go get my bucket before I go any deeper. Hold on. Gotta tell you, I miss dynamic lights, which is basically where when you hold a torch or whatever, it'll light up the area around you. One thing I'm gonna do. Water. Water. Water ambient. We're going to muffle that sound. But what, what, what is it? Like water? See, the other, like... Oh, I guess that made it quiet. That! That noise! <laughs> what is that? What is that? Let me find it. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Minecraft has a weird naming scheme for all the noises it uses. It Like, finding the one for grass took me forever because it's technically, like, the leaf break noise. Uh... I, can I go to recent? That doesn't help me. Zero, no. Um, yes, the 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 grass hit, which is no grass break, is actually the leaf noise as well. So it recycles some noises. I didn't know that, and so I was on like a developer's forum looking for these things. Should I go all the way down here off the bat? Probably not. And I really need to get water, but it looks like there's another water source. Yeah, right there. Okay. Um. Okay, that's gonna kill me. Hey, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, skulk! I, uh, maybe you can't see that because it's so dark, but. Oh, no, nah, dude. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, Sneak 100 is right. Yes, I hear you rumbling and grumbling. I can't handle that right now, dude. I I am going to back off. Oh, dude, the squid dying noise. I totally... Oh, oh, dude. Don't scare me like that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, the squid dying noise is... It doesn't sound like a squid. It sounded like something from the, the, the deep dark. What is it actually called? It's not called the deep dark, is it? Like the the area where the where the ancient cities spawn. Does anyone know what it's called? I know it has a name, okay, but I don't know what it I don't know what it is. Maybe we'll go over here. You know, if we find an in city the first episode, we can call it a bad time. <laughs> I don't know what else to I don't know what else to say. That's not a good time. That's for sure. That's a uh, Neo dies repeatedly time, but has fun. I would love to sneak some loot out of there off the bat. 
I remember there was some Let's Plays where I tried to slow myself down. I was like, I'm not going to get diamonds in the first episode. That'll solve the problem. No, the problem was never progressing too quickly through the game. It was not doing enough things. That was the problem. Okay. Dude, everything's out to get me today. The squid, the gravel. And now I realize why people make a first base. So that they can have some storage. Which we have 0, 0.0.0, 0 amount. We, we don't have any. I was hoping for a dungeon. I don't know what I'm expecting. If I find a dungeon, I will live at the dungeon and make it the center. Nope. Nope. Stop. Stop. Stop chirping. Quit it. Why? We don't need gold. <laughs> we need some iron. We need to find one of those. Oh. Um. Stop making noise. Stop transmitting the noise. Quit. Bad skulk sensors. Now, the thing over there is the thing that spawns it, right? It's like that, that, no, that thing is, is the thing that, that, that calls us. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sneak over here. I'm not going to put a torch down. I'm going to sneak over here and just. Aha, we're fine. Like, what is this then? I mean, I can't pick up any of these things, so it doesn't really matter. But we at least killed the thing that can kill us and spawn the warden. No diamonds. No diamonds. <laughs> I'm so nervous that there's going to be one of the things that spawns it in, in just a random spot. The one thing that was really surprising to me is that just because you found the, the skulk underground, it doesn't mean there's an ancient city. It can sometimes just spawn without an ancient city. I always thought that was so strange to me. I was like, why not just reserve that for just the ancient city? Why scare people? Ha! Aha! Aha! I told you every single time. To be fair, to be fair, our dungeons are not hard to find. I, I really don't think dungeons are like some mystical, hard to find. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's a good feeling. You know, it's zombie, so I'm not super happy with it. But I'll live here. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put all my stuff in there. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Let me just explore a little bit more. Maybe we'll find a double dungeon. Um, I do want to take note of those coordinates. I just need this. I need this iron so desperately, dude. I, I, I need it so desperately. Oh, we don't need XP right now either. That's. That's a good point. Uh, we will take note of this location. I don't know if we'll make it the center of our house, but we'll take note of it. Okay. We have we have the coordinates. Um, you know, because you can surround them with tented glass now, I guess, is the move. Aha! Uh -huh. No way! No way! No way! No way! Dude! Do you... It's... It's so rare to find one dungeon, but to find two right next to each other. What are the chain? What we were just talking about how it probably won't happen in this series because it's happened in every other series. Let's go. You know, you know how good this is going to be. Die. Die. Oh, I guess there's going to be more of you. I should have made a sword. I should have made a sword. Oh, I don't like this. Can we find a tr can we find a third? Can we find a third? Oh gosh, dude, my heart is racing right now. Oh, I can't. I can't even uh, stay out of my dungeon now. Get out of here. We're gonna. We're gonna. Okay, we wanted too much Sopranos. We're gonna. We're gonna make a door. Let's let's just find out what the cherry blossom door looks like. I mean, can it be that special? Can it be that special? Oh, you know what? With the flower petals, with the flower petals, kind of is the door. I like it. It's very cute, and I won't use the word cute to describe a lot of things, but it that is a cute door. Um, <laughs> does it fit the underground dungeon vibe? <laughs> Not necessarily. 
but for for the moment it's it's great it it for for the moment it'll it'll work she'll work she'll work um i don't like that there's all these materials here i know it's a little uh a little all over the place but you'll <laughs> uh you'll learn you'll watch me more and you'll learn you'll understand okay 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 things are things are heating up i'm gonna be completely honest here dude things are heating up and i am i'm ready for the third dungeon if we can do four can you imagine the xp i can't i can't imagine it at all this is this is why am i putting stuff just in the dungeon we're gonna make it into a mob spawner <sighs> Should I put stuff in here now, or should I like chill out? No, I just we're, should I chill out? What well, kind of question is that? Uh, food source. Oh, food. Yeah, we're gonna need more of that. We have three pork chops to our name. We have absolutely nothing, and we're just uh, it's just that dungeon, man. It's got me feeling some kind of way. I can't, I can't stay away from it. I really would like a sword for the faster attack speed, but I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna try to conquer this bad boy with an axe and a pickaxe. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. One heart. I don't think anything could spawn in here now. Okay. I never, I, I never looked at the loot in that one. I'm gonna assume it's kind of like this, where you know the only thing you care about is the name tags. Um. So, but you know, of course, I'll always take a name tag. There's no cat music discs. Those are my favorite. Um, of all time. Man, I can't believe there's two. It's, 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 it's just, it's surprising to me. Oh, we almost lost our life. And from such a small fall, but we don't, <laughs> we are a small man at this point. We don't have much. We don't have much at all. We, we do have some more iron though. I'll take that. I'll take, I'll take a little bit more iron. Now, they're not super close, you know, these dungeons. <clears throat> but they are close enough to where you can use a contraption with a mine cart to move in between them. And essentially double your spawns. Um, it's not exactly double, but it's more than just having one, that's for sure. So, I am very happy about that. We do have a golden apple, and just to make some people mad. Because they always get mad. I'm not sure why they get so mad. I mean, it's not like it was an enchanted golden apple. They're not that hard to get. I will take the melon seeds. I, I don't need any of this stuff, though, right now. We need, we need to focus on the beginning of the game. We're over here, like, I'm already thinking of how, how I'm going to run the, the rails in between and, and how we're going to do this and that, but we don't, you know, we're putting our house down inside of the spawner. Why? Can't stop, won't stop. Okay. Now, potion particles, that was one thing I wanted to turn off. So I believe I have a section in here called particles, and I would assume it's called effect. Okay, effect is turned off. Okay, but they're still on. Hold on. I have no idea. <clears throat> I'll figure it out later. I'm, I'm not going to fret about it. It's only for the, the, for the next minute. Okay, so a skeleton spawner. Now, the only way that these can be useful in terms of having a third is if there's one really close, which uh, if it's going to be in the best position possible, it would have to be like straight this way. So I am going to find out, is it in here? Before anyone says... No. I do hear lava. That's about the only thing I've heard. So I'm going to dig down to the lava and maybe there's a dungeon down there. I'm sure I'll find out eventually if there's something near here, but digging through this with an iron pickaxe is an absolute chore. We're not going to do that. I wanted a castle, so we'll probably end up living above this, but it's nice that we have this little spawner system so close to home. I'm digging around in the dark. I'm failing at finding the lava. I don't know where it is. It's been 10 years. It's dark. I think I've dug too far down. I don't think, I don't think, what are we at? We're at negative 58. Yeah, I don't think it's down here. We need more torches, but we don't have any more coal. See, I, I'm, I'm kicking myself because I should have gotten more coal. It's like really close though. Like it's really, really close. Do we really not have any more? Okay, that, that torch is, See, that's why dynamic lights is nice, because you can hold it in your hand, and it will light up your world, literally. I'll dig around a little bit. Hold on. See, it sounds like it's, like, directly in front of me, so let me try that. Can confirm was directly in front of me. Um, I don't know how to get up to there. 
But we will... Okay, that's still below it. Okay. We're going to go around a little bit. Okay, that's still directly below it. Okay, we got to back her up a little bit here. It's just fine, just fine. Not a big deal. We'll keep on a trucking. This could be this could be the biggest find of the year. Is it like right above us? Did I find the edge? So if I just like were to I know it's dark, I'm sorry. I can't I can't help it. Would it just be right okay, okay, okay. We have ourselves in a little bit of a predicament. Please don't be above us. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is this just the long oh my gosh. This was just the lava in the in the cave. Weren't we over there? Like originally? Like we're wasn't this where we were? No? Hmm. I thought we were over somewhere over here. Like where we came up from. Oh, I don't know. These caves are so big now. Yeah, 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 yeah. No? No, definitely not. There was no dripstone. You know what? It is what it is. We got to go back down. Oh, where were we? Where were we? Okay, that's that's great. But where were we? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll find it later. I, I I'm too infatuated with the diamonds here. Diamonds! First episode. We're scooting along. We're scooting along quite nicely. Yeah, I I feel like I came up like I know I jumped over this. Yeah, the angle I was at, I jumped over that. But where did I come up at? Oh, oh, it was down here. Aha. I wish I had more torches. I know I have this one torch, but I'm saving it for when I really need it. Uh, oh, how funny. <laughs> uh, interesting. Oh, yes. Okay, so it was, it is just right over here. I had just not come down. Okay. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. So that means over here is where the dungeon is. Yes, because I saw the mossy cobblestone started freaking out. Cool. Okay, so we're going to need a good way to get in and out of this area. You know, obviously for temporary purposes, I have put this stuff here. We already know what we're going to make. We already know what we're going to make. A diamond pickaxe. I mean, it's 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 a rite of passage for every world. If you make a diamond sword at first, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you need to change it up. Make it a diamond shovel, because why not? Uh, we don't have any food. We basically have nothing. I'm going to take everything useful. We're going to make a staircase going upwards. And then we are just going to make our way out of here for now. Because living underground, it has its, uh, you know, its charm. But I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it right now, at least. Um, so let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll take everything useful out of here. I think that should be good. Sure. You know what? I'm probably going to run out of inventory room. But I am going to make a staircase. Somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly. Probably like in between the two. And uh, maybe I should. <laughs> I, I What I'm going to do is I'm going to take those chests that I know I, yeah, I have a few of those. And I'm just going to dump my inventory into here because it's going to get full. Because I kind of want to do a proper staircase up. So we'll start off with this. And what I mean by proper is a three wide, four block high staircase. That's right. We're going all the way. We got the diamond pickaxe. We might as well. We're going to want a nice way up and down here, whether it's with mine carts or whatever. But yep, I'll meet you guys when I'm at the top. I'm not going to make you watch. Guys, I... <clears throat> oh, jeez. I'm digging this tunnel, and I'm watching this video from a YouTuber called Mixed Tunes. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. I want you to please watch it, especially if you're a longtime viewer of my channel. Maybe this will give you some insight. And it's, it's exactly what I was saying in the beginning of the video. And he's making this video about Minecraft content getting repetitive. And uh, a good example he gave was like Dream's Manhunt. Well, he did one Manhunt video. It was wildly successful. So he figures, let's do another. And then he kept doing them. And he was kind of locked in. He tried other things. They weren't doing as well. And then he stopped. Right? He just stopped the Manhunt videos. He was done with them. He got bored. And they kept carrying on. And they're just... There's just copy and basically copy and pasted videos from hundreds of other YouTubers trying to ride his wave of success. And it's exactly what happened with like, for example, a cookie gods style of hardcore Minecraft. There's a few other people like Sykes, 
or guys or something and they all do this all their videos are literally the exact same they they build a big structure in hardcore minecraft where they build a farm that's the entire thing and like you could argue well neo your video is you walking around rambling well if if you want to watch that kind of stuff feel free go ahead i'm not knocking you for liking it but Minecraft content got repetitious, and it's just gotten worse and worse. And this algorithm that the engineers over at Google have designed, and, and Meta have designed, and all these big tech companies, and, and especially at TikTok, they're getting more and more and more focused. And I think they're going to run into a big problem that they're not seeing. And to understand what that problem is, please go watch the video. It's called Repetition, Why We Don't Click Anymore. I'm sure you can search that on uh on youtube but there's also a link it just says watch this in all caps you also see down there there's a checklist for the series you know it's not a hard checklist or anything it's just some overarching things i want to do and as we think of new things and as i think of new things i'll add them to that checklist no there's not going to be a schedule for this series okay that's the pressure i do not need um, I'm very lucky to run one of the largest servers in the world for minecraft now and i don't have to have that that pressure where if I don't make a video this week then my family can't eat right so you want to check out the server it's in the description I'm not going to advertise it in this series uh, but anyways back to my point that video hit the nail on the head and I'm still not done with it I'm digging this tunnel it, dude this is taking way longer than I thought this is a big tunnel it's gonna take this whole diamond pickaxe uh, luckily we're about to get to stone which is about you know 20% faster to break than deep slate which I'm very happy about um, but I believe I made this the right size where if I put like a staircase going down You're not gonna feel like you're slamming your head on the ceiling, which is perfect Because um, we're definitely gonna put a staircase on this bad boy I think what I'll do is I'll put a staircase on one side and then maybe we'll want a rail cart down and a rail cart up uh, You know we could combine We could combine them. Sorry. I heard some noise. We could combine them. I'm not totally sure how we want to do this yet, but I Don't know. I want to build a castle before we What are all these noises? I keep hearing these like terrible noises. Th that one was a nice like jingle. What is that noise? I gotta, I, I, I gotta, I, I, I'm sorry, dude. I gotta know what that noise is. Wait, is that the glow squid? Wait a darn tootin' half second. Is that? Stop! Minecraft's just trying to freak me out at this point, dude. Oh, Minecraft's just trying to freak me out at this point. Oh, yeah, and one thing about this series that we're going to do, we're just having the normal Minecraft music going in the background. I wanted to make sure I have my music off. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I like I like the Minecraft soundtrack. And I feel like not enough YouTubers still use it. So we're, so we're going to use it. So is it just... Is that is that what that is? Are you just... Yes, this is... Okay, yes, lots of glow squids have died in the making of this episode. I'm very sorry. I played no part. But unfortunately, they have died. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Don't don't blame me. Is this just like water above this? Why why are you dripping? Okay, it's one of those uh, fancy underwater caves. Does this go back up to the surface? I guess we have to find out, or we're gonna lose all our stuff. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna dig up. We're gonna dig that staircase up into the mountain. That'll be a lot of fun. So I guess we're going to live where I said I didn't want to live. How do we get back there? Oh, gosh. Okay, it's just right there. There was like a, a good, good chance I was not going to find my way back up. So I'm very lucky I did. But yes, we are about to staircase up into a hill. Which means it's about 50, 60 more blocks of tunneling than we would have had to have done otherwise. Nice. Well, I, I am glad there's lots of good caves here. Because I'm, I'm always a sucker for caving. Okay, well, back to the grind. Go watch that video if you want to. You don't have to, but I think he makes some very, very incredible points. And uh, even things that, you know, I had been thinking, but I hadn't been able to kind of verbalize or, 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 or even, like, think in my mind. Sometimes it's good to hear. It's good to hear someone else thinks the same things I think. And I guess that reassurance is good because it makes you realize you're not crazy. Same way people watch reaction videos to have reassurances that what they're listening to is really good and other people think so. Something like that. Anyways, back to the staircase. I'm very confused, so I paused the game. Uh, what's going on? I, uh, I don't have any way to kill you guys because I don't have, <laughs> I, 
I, I guess I can kill you with my pickaxe. Why? Why was there like five of you or four of you or however many of you all in one? I don't know how to explain it. I'm just mining, watching a video, uh, The Influence of Minecraft on Gen Z by Alpine One. Cool video if you want to go watch it. Uh, wait, wait, what, what? Okay, so what? So what is, what, so, what is going on? Is there a strong? Is there a stronghold or something? I'm so confused. Is Because I thought, you know, these can spawn in little pockets, but not like this. So have we found a stronghold? <laughs> like, like, I mean, we're not that far from our spawn point. Is that possible to find a stronghold or, or any of these other ones? Like, do I keep digging? I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe those just randomly spawn. I feel like that's the case. They can just kind of... Huh. Okay, well, if I find a stronghold, I'll for sure let you guys know. I did end up putting the stairs down so we can walk up and down this bad boy. Pretty cool. Uh, we're making good progress, though. We're almost up to the tippity top, I think. I say that, but I don't I don't actually think we're very close at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 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 it despawned. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. See, we're doing fine. I'm not scared. Not at all. Aha! We have, uh... We have had first contact here with a with an alien race. Totally, not a mine shaft. Either way, I'm 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 happy that this is here, but I don't know what it means. Do we do we explore? No, we're not gonna explore right now. I will go up there and check it out because it's kind of cool. I was not expecting. I remember we had seen a mine shaft maybe from um, where we were. And mine shafts can have a lot, like, that you really need. I mean, we do need coal. I've actually been using cherry wood to, uh, <laughs> been using cherry wood. Y you know what boggles my mind? They just had the big... That was not good. They just had the big underground update. You know, I guess it was, like, two years ago now. Um, and back when they first, it was during Minecraft Beta 1.8, it was called the Adventure Update. Everyone was super hyped for it, it came out, it was a huge disappointment. It added mine shafts that were completely empty, but it more importantly added these rooms right here. You see how this room is kind of a square? Usually they're a square, I think the new biome is kind of infiltrated. And there was going to be a boss in here. There's supposed to be a boss. Why on earth, when they made the big underground update, did they not put a boss? Okay, I'm so upset. You know, I'm just... Very, you know, you can tell I'm I'm seething, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's still an unused feature. Come on, Mojang, give me g give me some some little mind boss or something. Just just something absolutely crazy here. Okay, I'll go down this path and then we we need to get back to this staircase. We're never gonna get it done. I've literally been oh I don't have any weapons. I've literally been digging for I'm not kidding like 30 minutes straight, um, and it's just because. This is way bigger than I thought to dig out. It's been fun. I'm not like complaining or anything, but it's been, it's been an absolute journey. So I'm ready to be to, at, at the surface and uh, w we can start the castle. Obviously, we're not going to fill, fill an entire castle with, you know, structures and stuff, but we'll, we'll get ourselves a little starter castle built. Use a little bit of cherry wood, use some deep slate, whatever speaks to us. Okay. Well, that's an entire diamond pickaxe gone. And I mean, look how, dude, this is a long tunnel. We're only at Y59. I believe the surface, I don't remember what the surface is on anymore. They changed it, but I've got to go. I don't know if it's a spider dungeon. More than likely, it's like one of those, you know, mine shaft spider dungeons, but I'm not going to count that as my third dungeon. No, we're not going to do that. We do need another iron pickaxe, or we need an iron pickaxe. I can't believe the scale of this staircase. I mean, just walking down it, like, dude, it's going to be nice having this off the bat, though. I could have stayed up. The no, I couldn't have. I didn't have enough wood. That's good, actually, that I came down here because I would have would have been a little frustrated if I had gotten up there and I didn't have enough stuff, like sticks. That's what I mainly need. Okay, we don't need that. Two iron pickaxes should get us up to the top if it doesn't and you know, honestly, I should have used iron before I used um, The good stuff the diamonds because You get used to a certain speed and then you start using the slow stuff and you're like, oh, dude, no 
Okay, well, back to the grind. No, I've died. I'm dead. Oh, that's not that bad. Uh, we're not in hardcore, which is great. There's not that enormous pressure where if you die, you've lost it all. Um, I'm trying to get past a lava pocket that I've encountered, and which makes me realize I'm still so deep in the world, and I've 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 come so far, but I'm still so far away. Uh, it, hey, bright side. We're gonna have more than enough cobblestone to build this castle. More than enough deep slate. Yeah, we'll have to farm a few cherry trees. Not a big deal, but yeah, that's where I died. Just right up there. Am I looking down the staircase or up the staircase right now? Tell me. Because I'm kind of like tripping my brain out and it looks like I'm going down. But then I turn around and oh. Oh, it's it's because I traveled through so long on this staircase. Yeah, we, we'd already gone through two whole iron pickaxes. So these are the uh, third and fourth iron pickaxes. But yes, the, the problem I encountered is I'm trying to get... And I think I got it on this one, but like, how do I get the cobblestone on the other side? I keep burning. It's so difficult to like get cobblestone there. I, I don't actually think I can. So I had built up and I was trying to like, oh, come is it really going to burn me all the way to death? Okay. Yeah. So I'm just in a, I'm in a sticky situation because I don't know how, I don't know how big of a lava pocket this is, but it, it it's massive. You can kind of tell from the sound. But yeah, there's literally no way to get a to get a piece of cobblestone like right there. At least not with the means I have at the moment. So I may have to go like like tunnel forward and then continue the staircase. But I don't want to. Okay, dang it! I want I want this staircase to run straight through. And it's really only. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, see that that's that's the problem. Wait a second. I know how to do this. I can I can break this and then just hop up and. Put it right there. There we go. Okay, but is it gonna be a problem? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh gosh. This is such a large pocket, man. It's absolutely massive. You know, I don't think I'm. I don't. <laughs> we're still on the first episode. I don't have anything. I'm just going to. Oh, I don't want to take the easy way out. And I don't know if it is the easy way out. If I just like were to, you know, go straight and then continue the straight. But listen. You hear how bubbly that is? Is this really what I've been? Oh, it's just right here. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I could have just gone up here and seen this myself. Oh my gosh! I did not think about this for some reason. I had it in my mind. It was like a mega lava pocket, and there was no way. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Look at that. Is there anything in this cave? I know there's cold stuff. I've been getting a lot of coal, so I'm not too worried about coal at the moment. But is there anything like cool, interesting? I'll take iron because we're gonna need more pickaxes. You are donating to the Neo Foundation for a better tunnel, so I appreciate it, Mr. Mr. Iron. Oh, okay. I oh, I saw the emerald, but I have no way to handle that. That is the forever lost emerald. Okay, we're never going back there. This skeleton's gonna get me. This skeleton's gonna get me. How do I even get back here? What, what, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so I can continue up now. I don't need to. No, no need to stress any longer. All is well. Cool. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to come back because I. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't believe my eyes, dude. I. We just had that whole lava fiasco right there, and I. Then I get up here, and I'm. I'm mining, and I'm like, man. <sighs> This is a long tunnel, and then boom! You know, I thought I just hit another dirt pocket, but no! Light! No, let's, I, I'm curious to see where we end up. I am very curious. Are we on the top of a mountain? Did we dig more than we had to? Or did we get lucky? You know, I think we actually caught... Oh, we did a nice valley! Oh, a nice, a nice valley with the view of the luscious cherry forest. A little bit of iron ore. A little bit of emerald ore that we're going to take. Two emerald ore that we're gonna take. Okay, I can't encounter a mob, dude. I literally still have one heart. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Now, where is the castle gonna go? Because I want it to be very near here. I want, I want it to be connected, ideally. You know what? This ain't such a bad spot for a castle. We even have enemies that are gonna try to invade. Um, I may, I may look over here at the other side. And we're going to find out, is there something cool? 
Well, the pillager outpost is somewhat cool. A little, a little daunting, a little scary, but it's, it is what it is. It's always going to be watching over us. Maybe we'll do like a, a pillager raid farm or, or just a pillager farm. I, I don't think a raid farm is the same thing, but there are pillager farms, which are kind of cool. Okay. Well, I don't know the exact spot for my, like, you know, house. So I'm going to live in this. Uh, uh, I'm going to make a hobbit hole for now. I'm going to plan between this episode and the next one where we're going to put the castle. I do know that we need to prep a few things. Obviously, we're, we can't end the episode right here because we have <laughs> we have done. I mean, we we've done a lot of discovery. We've done a lot of resource gathering. I'm going to make this one blocks. I am going to make myself another uh, chest here real quick. I think it's becoming dark as well, which is not not optimal, but it's okay. We can we can live through this. So items will go in there. Blocks will go in here. All will be well. Let me go get the rest of my junk. And nope, it's midday. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's insane. I'm so happy we're up here. Uh, one thing I need to do, because I'm not going to want to do it later on, is I need to make sure that this has stairs going all the way up and down. So I'm going to do a few things, make the staircase, transfer our stuff up here, and then I'll meet you back in rendezvous and when that is all done for you. <laughs> I'm not serious. I know I do it a lot. I say I'm going to come back after I've done X, but uh, X or Y or whatever, you know, and, and I, I get stuck. I had to go up to the mine shaft to gather wood because there was none down here. And if there is, I don't want to find it because then I'll be upset with myself. Um, and I'm having to gather all the stuff we put in here in the beginning of the episode. And I remember saying to myself, I'm probably going to move this like very soon. Did not, did not foresee the fact that we would build a giant tunnel that took about an hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of insane to, to spend an hour and a half building a tunnel in your first episode. But... It is what it is, and I'm not unhappy that we built it. Um, it did take a lot out of me, meaning that I'm not sure I can I can do a whole lot more this episode. Uh, it's kind of funny. The Tunnel of Dreams. And man, it is dark now. It was raining earlier. I'm not sure if it's still raining, but like, just to give you an idea of how long this tunnel is. Let me sprint up it. Maybe that makes it... I can't sprint. <laughs> I don't have enough food, but I think that gives you a, a pretty good idea. It's, it's kind of jarring to walk up the stairs. I don't remember them being like that, but maybe they've always been like that. I'm not sure. Maybe I just could have never made a giant tunnel this long. Yes, it is still raining. Now, is there going to be a bunch of mobs here that just absolutely blast us and we lose our spawn point? No, they're not, because we just said it. We don't even have a door, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, all of our stuff's up here. We still need to prep a few things. Now, a lot of you are gonna absolutely love what I'm about to do. Um, I need to go get some food before we do anything else. I'm gonna like, I'm trying to put up all the block items and all the items that are not blocks into this chest. It's just, just, just a rudimentary storage. Please don't touch me, I'm going to die. I'm a very, very weak man at the moment. I have absolutely nothing to my name. A stone pickaxe, you know, the torch is, Probably the most valuable thing that I have. I guess I shouldn't kill animals that are near me right now. Oh, oh, I have food. I just forgot about it. What was that? Did you guys hear that noise? That was not a normal skeleton noise. Go back in the video. What was that? Tell me in the comments right now where I'm done playing. We have food. We just forgot about it. In fact, we have a lot of food. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to be a fat, fat man with all this bread. I'm going to eat bread until I can't move. Oh, that was some delicious bread. Yes, so back to uh, back to the regular topic at hand. I'm about to do something that's going to make a lot of people very nostalgic and very happy. I am going to farm some trees. Now you're saying, Neo, well, that's not, that's... How is that nostalgic? Oh, you'll see. Oh, you'll see. No? To grab the saplings. If you can guess what I'm doing, you are truly an OG viewer of this channel. If you can't guess, don't feel bad. It's okay, I promise. But we're going to farm a few trees here. Yep. 
If you know, you know. If you don't, you're probably confused and that's okay. You'll know eventually because you'll go and read the comments and people will be like, oh yeah, this is blank, 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 blank. I'm not going to spoil it, but that's very nostalgic for me to do. We haven't farmed trees in quite a while. I feel like this is just an absolute banger of a thumbnail to begin with. Oh yeah, just, just, just a little seed ruining my shot, man. I want to thank you guys for watching the first episode. I, I, I know it, it, it's definitely been too long since I've had an episode one of a Let's Play. I'm gonna not, I'm, I'm not gonna make promises to you guys. I'm not gonna claim this is going to be the best series ever. I'm not gonna say it's going to run forever. Um, but I want it to be good, man. I, I have a very, very good feeling, like in my chest, about this, and I'm super excited to see where it goes. Uh, we will farm a bunch of trees because we do need them. Um, I'm gonna try to make a really cool. I mean, everyone's doing it, man. But I mean, it's the new block, okay? I mean, what do you what do you expect in here? You expecting me not to use the newest wood type in Minecraft? The last new wood type was what? Okay, they just added the mahogany, not the mahogany. What is it? The stuff in the swamp-ish biome that I don't even remember the name of. We need to find that too. I'd love to do some builds with those because that kind of came out in the tail end of one of my Let's Plays and I didn't really get to use it a whole lot. And it's really pretty and I want to use it some more. But we're going to farm a few trees here. Oh, we got big plants. I don't know when the next episode will come out. Hopefully it comes out the next day. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. It'll definitely be like a few days after, if, if not then. Because I'm super excited to play more. Uh, but I, I can't do too much off camera, right? I'm not the kind of YouTuber that'll come back... And to be like, all right, guys, I did off camera. My, you know what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm not that kind. I, I like to do almost everything on camera um, except the super boring stuff like digging. <laughs> like digging a giant <laughs> uh, hour and a half long staircase. I'm never going to never, never, never gonna live that down, am I? I mean, for the first episode, it was not the smartest decision, but it is what it is. You know, a lot of, a lot of things in life are like that. You'll do them and you're like, why did I do this? Well, you got to ask yourself two questions. Did you enjoy doing it? Did you have fun? Firstly. Secondly, was it worth it? Um, if you can answer those questions and you feel like the answer is, you know, favorable for most of them, then I would say you're good. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Oh, it's even cooler like that. But then you can't see all the... I don't know, man. I'll figure out the thumbnail. Don't worry about it, okay? Yeah, we could always zoom it out, you know, just a tad. Just a tad. Cut that one off in the corner a little bit. Oh, baby, a triple. There we go. Now, <laughs> whenever we go to ex go to do little uh, little Snapchats, little Snapchats, little flashbacks to our memories, we're gonna see a bunch of these. But the episode one thumbnail is pretty important. Anyways, thank you for watching me on my Minecraft journey today in 1.20. I had a blast, and I hope you had a blast watching it. I'll see you guys very soon. A cool thing I do on my channel is that every time. We end an episode, I give you a four digit code to put down in the comments just to confuse new viewers. Because almost everyone, when they click on a video, they'll scroll down, read, you know, the top few comments. And if the top few comments are like, let's say, 9067, they're going to have no idea what that means. So put that down in the comments below. Again, 9067. You don't even have to say anything, you can just put those four numbers to confuse people. And uh, let's start the secret code trend back, guys, and start it off strong. First secret code for today's episode is 9067. Let's confuse some new viewers together. I hope you choose to subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'd love to hit a million subscribers this year. We've been stuck at 915,000 or thereabouts for almost three years now. Two or three years. Is it my fault? Sure. But I'm going to try to remedy it. Let's see if we can hit a million subscribers this year. It, it, it's a childhood dream of mine. It doesn't have to happen. I, I, I'll die happy if I don't, never reach a million. But would I die a little bit happier if I reach a million? Sure. Oh, it's so exciting. There's so many things. Oh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Oh, dude, that that one, my voice crap. I like to 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 make the buys very, uh, very, uh, I don't know. I'm always used like, bye or bye. But that one was like, bye! <laughs> oh, oh. You can tell by the bye how good of a time I'm having. We'll put it that way.